So I just want to make sure that that's on tight enough. And that's my little wood sign that I made for the uh, fruit garden. Good morning YouTube family. I'm back out in the garden today. It's actually a gorgeous morning. It's about 10 degrees. There's not a bit of wind. Perfect. So I want to get on with this fruit garden. Um, I haven't managed to do much lately, but I'm getting on with it a bit now. Um, I had some really good news, which is coming just at the right time, really. The electricity board are coming to um, take down all these, not take them down, but thin out the conifer trees, so I'll have lots of wood chips. So that's coming perfect for me doing the fruit garden for the paths. And, uh, oh, it's exciting. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is a bit more in the fruit garden. So far I've only got three beds down, so uh, I'm going to get on with that and uh, I'll catch up with you when I've done a bit more. And by the way, 500 subscribers, wow, thank you, thank you, so pleased, thanks ever so much. Anyway, let's see how we get on, I'll film bits and pieces. Okay, so <clears throat> like I said, I've done three beds, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete them as I go along. So what I'm going to do first is put cardboard down and uh, then gradually add layers to it and plant in the raspberries that I've been holding in bags until I've got the beds ready. So let's see how we get on. Oh blimey, it's, it's so warm, it's making me sweat. But anyway, um, I've covered that bed with cardboard and I'm just going to go over now and get some of my own soil from there and probably a bit of um, wood chip from down in the forest there just to pad it out a bit in the bed and probably a bit of um, dirt from the chickens as well. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. These are the trees that they're going to be trimming down so there should be quite a good bit of wood chip. I'll spin it round and also there's loads around the other side so uh, yeah looking forward to that
dirt on you. Fine. Fine. Good boy. So the idea of this um, patch is obviously for um, all the fruit. So I've got three types of um, raspberry canes. Some um, are later fruiting. So what I'm trying to do is keep them in the same area. But also down the bottom there in the long grass are some canes already which I need to get up. Um, so what I'm going to be doing for now is just um, I'm going to make up a few more beds and clear that bottom area of all the long grass because um, actually this week is going to be really mild but next week we've got snow <clears throat> so I actually want to get most of it done well all of it done this week while it's so mild I mean working out in a t-shirt in January who would have thought that hey so yeah, I think the hardest part about creating your fruit garden is not the planning and not the making of the beds, it's actually filling them. And, you know, I have got some means of filling them. I've got the, um, the uh, wood chips down there and some compost, but I haven't got, you know, probably not enough to fill all of those. So I'll do the best I can. And what I haven't got, I shall just gradually add to it you know, some from the um, wormery and stuff like that. Over time, I'll add to it to make it up. And um, when the raspberries are all planted in that area, around the edge, I've got some lavender, which I'm going to put there to attract the bees for pollination and stuff. And also, because we sit, we have the table and chairs right there, create a nice scent there when you're sitting there in the summer. So, yeah be good so I won't bore you with all the digging and the getting ready but um, <clears throat> over that area there oh no not that one I've done that one but behind that I'm just starting to do another one but of course there's all long grass so I'm gonna have to dig all that out um, and that's gonna take a bit of time 
so uh, I'll get on with it. Well, I'd say I was three quarters of the way there now, so I'm quite pleased with what I've done today. And I'll probably carry on tomorrow. Um, I'll show you what I've done anyway. Right, so <clears throat> these first two beds are eight foot by four foot, and they've got the um, raspberry canes that I've been storing in the bags. So they would need planting in there. This is another eight by four foot bed. And so is that one at the back there. And this one is an eight by four as well. So if I stand back, I'll show you what it looks like. So there you go. Um, got quite a bit done today. Quite pleased with how it's looking. This bit along here, where there's um, some red currant bushes, I should put an edge along there, right up there, and that edge that. And so, then the worst would be to come. I'll take you up there and show you. It's um, the worst bit, really. Save the worst till last. <laughs> this was some. Uh, weed suppressant which didn't work very well because all the weeds grew through it but um, up to that little back bit there where well just before the donkey this is what I've got left to do um, I'll probably get another eight foot long bed going that way and another one from the end of this bed going up there I'll show you from this side So there you go but it's been such a lovely day actually the um the hardest bit about um doing this is not the building of the beds or anything like that it's the filling of them that they wore me out <laughs> but anyway it, it'd be such a good job when it's done and uh like i say we've got great weather this week so uh perfect timing really anyway i'll see you tomorrow for the next bit Bye for now. Why not come and join me on Facebook or Instagram? The link is in the description.